Hello everyone, this is Game Show Grand Prix, I'm your host this week, Caitlin Penny, and I have devised a game show for you. This is Triple Crown Racing, and let's get into it. So, the way this series is going to work is that uh, we're going to ha each have different episodes uh, where we host a segment of a game show that uh, that we devise. I'm the host for this week, uh, but uh, we're also going to have uh, segments from uh, Chris Whitfield and Jack McKenzie as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, this week I have to give credit to a another show called The Game Show, uh, The Game Garage, sorry, by Tom Scott. Uh, they had a uh, a game show format on their uh, on their show uh, a little while ago called uh, called Keep It or Dump It, and I've slightly tweaked it and uh, transformed it into a two player game, uh, which I've called Take It or Leave It. Today we have two budding contestants. We have Chris Whitfield and uh, Jack McKenzie. Welcome in both of you, uh, Jack. Jack, how are you feeling about uh, the first episode of this new series? Well, uh, I'm glad that we're doing something different. Uh, although I will say, since Chris was around uh, for every single thing that's happened, I am not particularly confident in actually beating him. Okay, well Chris, um, of course you are the, uh, the more experienced of the two competitors. How do you think your Formula One knowledge uh, stacks up against Jack's? Um, I'd say, um, I'd say quite good. Um, quite good? That's a bit of an under-exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I take it you're, um, relatively confident? Well, I'm on this show, aren't I? Uh, no, um, good I'd answer. say so. Okay, good answer, Chris. Anyway, uh, so this show is uh, Take It or Leave It, and effectively, how it works is that, uh, we have... A, uh, a group of options, 10 options in uh, in total, and uh, I'm going to read out a, a question in the form of a criteria. If you think the majority of the options fit that criteria, you will want to dump the options that don't uh, fit that criteria. If you think it's the other way round, you will want to keep the options that don't fit the criteria and dump the ones that do. And uh, at the end of three questions, the uh, the number of options you have left on the board is the number of points that you score. In total, there is a, a maximum of four points per question, uh, four points per, per segment, and uh, therefore eight points overall are up for grabs here. So uh, I think this is going to become more clear once we uh, get into it. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go right away. Uh, Jack, heads or tails? Uh, tails. Okay, and uh, it's actually heads, meaning Chris Whitfield will start. So, Chris, we have uh, four um, four different segments uh, for you today. Uh, which one would you feel more confident in out of drivers, constructors, circuits, or seasons? I'd say seasons. Okay, so let's start with the seasons uh, sheets. Jack, have you got that? Yes, it's open. Okay, so the options for seasons are... 1954, 1961, claim the Constructors' Championship? So, if you think that the majority of these years had a works team, and I'm classifying works team, sorry, as a team uh, that have produced road cars uh, up to the, to that point. So, uh, yeah, a team that um, a team that 
have produced uh, have produced road cars. Uh, in the in the case of 1954, there was no constructors championship, so I'm taking it in terms of the drivers championship instead. So, do you think that in the majority of these seasons, the constructors championship was claimed by a works team, or do you think that the uh, that's the mon minority? I think it's the minority. Okay, so you're saying uh, we are going to uh, dump the seasons where a works team claimed the Constructors' Championship. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, jolly good. Alright, Jack, so I want you what to... Uh... Score out. What's that, sorry? What do I need to score out? Okay, so... Seeing as we are dumping the, te the years where works teams won the, uh, the championship, we are dumping... 1954. You ready on it? There we go. 1950. Oh, that was a pen. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right, there it is. Yeah, right. Okay, 1954. Yep. 1961. Yep. 1977. Oh, 1978. No. It's okay, Chris. You're not being struck out completely because uh, uh, not being struck out. Uh, 86 and 95. 2005 and 2006 are both struck off because they were both Renault. 2013 was non-works. 2016 is struck off because that was Mercedes. So you had 1954 which was Mercedes and Maserati, both works teams. 1961 was Ferrari, works team. 77, um, or 78 sorry, was uh, Lotus. 77 was Ferrari. And uh, then you end up with uh, with uh, 80. You end up with 86, which was McLaren at the time, not a works team. 95, which was Benetton, and 2013, which was Red Bull. So that is uh, that's the list. Unfortunately, of course, you did get you did end up with the minority, but you're still in the game. You can still uh, you can still score points. I should point out that. Um, the maximum you can score on all of these criteria is uh, is four points. So, uh, anyway. So what's he got then? So uh, anyway, um, we now have two questions to go. If you still have um, uh, to score a point, you still have to have one of those tiles standing at the end of these two questions. So the next one is: uh, Did these years claim a driver fatality? So if you think the uh, the majority of uh, 80... So we're looking now at just 86, 95 and 2013, okay? Just those three years. So, um, in the majority of those years, do you think there was a, a driver fatality or not? Are we keeping the years there where there not. was... Okay. Oh, wait, there was only one. Yeah, so the... Oh, on a race weekend. Yeah, so... Oh, um, by the way, official test sessions do count. Oh, so are we um, are we keeping the uh, the the years with fatalities or removing them? I'd keep the years with fatalities. Are you sure? Take it easy now. Get into or actually, get rid. Of... Uh... I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to ask you to confirm your final answer. Uh, um, oh, I shouldn't have done the first one. Um, it's okay. I'd say keep them. Keep them. Okay, so we're keeping the years with uh, driver fatalities. Jack, I'm afraid you can only keep 86, which had Elio De Angelis in an official test session. So unfortunately, we are removing 1995 and 2013. Right. Final. Bad at this. That's okay, Chris. Remember, Jack could make as many mistakes as you or more. Moving on to the uh, the final question of this criteria to determine whether you score a point or not. Was the championship decided at the final round in 1986? This is, of course, without the help of the internet. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't go looking stuff up. Of course. No cheating. So... To determine whether you will score a point or not, was the championship decided at the final round in 1986? Yeah. I want to say yes. 
final answer? Because it was Prost versus Mansell. Are you sure? I'd say... Unless Prost clinched it beforehand. I could be double bluffing you. I can be mischievous when I want to be. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> No, I don't think it was. Final answer. Uh oh. So what are we? Just give me my no points. Okay. Unfortunately, you didn't score any points because that was the championship finale between Mansell and Prost, where Mansell's tire blue and Prost claimed the championship. So I'm sorry, Chris, but you Red come away. Red look at that! <laughs> and colossally, that's Mansell. That's Mansell. Yes. All right. So for all intent and purpose, do I need to score out 1986? Yeah, you uh, you might as well do because that unfortunately is a pointless first round. Uh, on right. to uh, on to Jack. So Jack. Oh no. Do you, oh, would you like man. to answer questions about drivers, constructors, or circuits? I'll, I'll take drivers, thanks. Drivers. Okay. So have you got the uh, the driver sheet up? Yeah, it's up. There we go. So. The, uh, the options are Daniel Ricciardo, Jochen Rint, Ricciardo Patrese, Clay Regazzoni, Michele Alboreto, Juan Pablo Montoya, John Surtees, Mike Hawthorne, Phil Hill, and Nick Heidfeld. So Jack, the first question is, uh, the first criteria is, drivers with five or more wins. Do you think the majority of these drivers had five or more wins? Are we keeping the, the drivers with five or more wins, or are we dumping the drivers with five or more wins? So, with, so is it the majority, or... So we want to keep the majority? You want to keep the majority. So do you think the majority of these drivers have five or more wins, or do you think the minority of these drivers have five or more wins? I think the majority of these drivers have five or more wins. So we are keeping the, uh, the ones with five or more wins, is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Uh, so, the ones you want to remove here, the ones that scored fewer than five or more wins, are Mike Hawthorne. Despite being a champion, he only claimed three race victories. Phil Hill, who also, despite being a champion, only claimed three race victories. Oh, and, no. and Nick Heidfeld, who never claimed a race victory. So, so you have come away oh, with wait. the majority there. I have done a thing! Well that done. is... Excellent. All right, and uh, that is the first correct answer that we've had today. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> Excellent. So, oh uh, well yes. Well done, Jack. Okay. Question. Uh, question two. Drivers who won a race in their twenties. So drivers who won their first race in their twenties. Are we keeping them or are we leaving them? I'm gonna say the majority of the drivers won their races won, won their race in their twenties. Okay, so we're keeping the drivers who won races in their twenties. Is that correct? Uh, yes. That's brilliant because you only have to remove Clay Regatoni. I am way better than this than I thought. It's by the looks of things so, so far. Uh, so. I'm worse. We are. We're off to a good start. Sorry, Chris. You have your. Remember, you still have a a round to go. So don't worry about it. Um, so, Jack, that means you will definitely be coming away with points, but this final question, Pardon. well done, this final question uh, will yeah. determine how many points you come away, come away with. Alright. Which of these drivers won either the Indy 500 or Le Mans 24 hours overall? Um, so, uh, do you think the majority of these drivers have claimed another of the triple, the non-F1 triple, triple crown um, trophies, or uh, do you think it's the uh, the minority? So not you, not you. I'm pointing at them, by the way. <laughs> okay, uh, jolly good. That'll work fantastically, especially not... seeing as we don't have a face cam. Um, I'm gonna say the minority have won other events of the Triple Crown. Final answer. Lock it in. Jolly good. The funny story is, it didn't even matter because it was three on either side, so you were always going to come away with three points there. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't sure, so I, I thought it might have been even. So have I got n maximum points then? Um, 
the maximum you could have scored is, is four. Um, wait a second then, I have... Let me, let me recount that. Hi everyone, so post-production Caitlin here just to explain what happened. Uh, effectively, to make this quiz fair, I had to make sure that the maximum points that uh, that you could score on each of the different segments uh, was four. Unfortunately, I miscalculated, and on the drivers it ended up being three, So, uh, which of course I only just realised when we started recording. So, to make this fair, uh, if this ends up being uh, determined by just one point, uh, we will go to a tiebreaker round. So it will still be a fair competition. Uh, Jack did just score maximum points on his go, uh, so don't be uh, don't be fooled by the fact he hasn't got four points. Uh, anyway, back to the uh, back to the action. Just to uh, to confirm, uh, did you say to keep or dump the ones that had won other triple crown races? Um, I said I didn't think the minority, I thought the minority had won Triple Crown events, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so um, you would have ended up with uh, Daniel Ricardo, Ricardo Patrese, and uh, John Surtees, because none of those uh, won. Incidentally, uh, John Surtees did win um, Le Mans as a class winner, but not as an overall winner, so uh, he wouldn't have counted. But uh, yeah, in the end, you ended up with uh, Daniel Ricciardo, Ricciardo Patrese, and uh, John Surtees. Um, Jochen Rint won Le Mans. Uh, Juan Pablo Montoya won Indianapolis twice. And Michele Alboreto won Le Mans. But John Surtees, I, th I think he did actually race at Le Mans, but did he win? Uh, yeah, know. he won his class, but he never won overall. Right, okay. In a... Um... In a Ferrari, I believe, right? So, so how many points do I have? So three points to Jack. So going into the uh, the second round, it's three nil to Jack. Excellent. All right. Okay. okay um. No city three. I feel like Arsenal right now. Who's John up next? Good. Moving on to round three, we go back to Chris. Chris, this is your chance to salvage something. You can still tie with Jack. You can't technically beat him unless we go to... I think we'll go to a, a tiebreaker question if we tie. So anyway, um, so you can still win it, uh, but you need maximum points on this next one. So are we going for constructors or circuits? I'll go with constructors. Okay, uh, Jack, let's bring up the, uh, the constructors. And uh, the options are Toro Rosso, Emerson, Osella, Racing Point, and Force India. They both count. Jordan, McLaren, Coloni, AGS, and Techno. So those are your uh, your LaRousse. ten. What's that? Sorry. And Larousse. Did I miss Larousse? Okay. Yes. Larousse is definitely one of them. So sorry. Um. Okay, your first question about uh, constructors is, which of these constructors, or, sorry, the criteria, I keep forgetting I'm doing, right. Um, so, I'm looking for constructors that have raced in other series alongside Formula One. Uh, so this, um, yeah, this counts, uh, this counts, for example, uh, Formula Two, IndyCar, uh, other junior categories, um, and uh, also uh, things like sports car racing and uh, things like that as well. So, uh, yeah, in terms of uh, constructors, are we keeping the the, uh, the constructors that have raced in other series or are we dumping them? I'd say dump them. Okay, dumping the ones that have raced in other series. Uh, so, uh, let's dump Osella, who have raced in Formula 2. Let's Wait, dump... okay, hold on. Yeah. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> okay, Ocello is gone. Yep. Let's dump McLaren, who have raced in IndyCar. All right. And uh, finally, let's dump Coloni, who have raced in GP2 and Super League Formula. So you did. Come oh, away and with the wait, McLaren. Event. McLaren, I'm pretty sure. Are you counting? They've also raced at uh, at Le Mans as well. Yep, they have. So that also counts. But uh, but yeah, as as. Uh, as a single seed team, they've raced at, at IndyCar. I, I would have counted Le Mans even if IndyCar hadn't counted. Uh, we're also counting uh, Coloni because they raced in GP2 and Super League Formula. So there you go, Chris. And that's the majority. 3000. Um, yeah, so, probably. So, Although GP2 and Formula 3000 are technically the same series. 
Uh, so McLaren, Ocella, and Colony are gone. Yes, so you did get the majority on the first uh, the first criteria. Secondly, we are looking for teams that scored points in their first season. So, are we keeping or dumping the teams that scored points in their first season? Oh. It's a tough one. I'd say keep them. Okay, keeping the teams that uh, score points in their first season. Uh, we are dumping Emerson. Uh, they actually raced in the, in the 1950s and only did, I think, uh, three Grand Prix. They didn't drive much. Uh, we are, um, we are, let me move on, we are dumping AGS, they did not score points in their first season, and we're dumping Techno, who also did not. Uh, so, right. that means, um, you actually, you actually, uh, would have, uh, would have ended up with the same... No, ignore me, you've done a good job there. That was the majority, with uh, four teams left. So, uh, well done, Chris. So, going for the uh, the maximum four points, uh, all of these fit into the same criteria. Has a Grand Prix winner ever driven for them? Oh. The teams left, of course, are Toro Rosso, Jordan, LaRousse, and... Racing Point slash Force India. I'd say keep the ones that um, were winners. Indeed, yeah. That had winners. They all had race winners that drove for them, meaning you have come away with the uh, the maximum of four points. I'm so sorry, Jack, that I made a mistake with the drivers and that the maximum was three points because it really should have been four. But whatever the case, um, indeed. Right. What's that, sorry? Right. Okay, we are. Uh, but yeah, indeed, that was the uh, the maximum what of four the, points because. Uh, Toro Rosso had Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Max Verstappen. Racing Point had Giancarlo Fisichella when they were Force India. Uh, LaRousse had Michele Alboreto, and Jordan had too many to count. Uh, finally, <laughs> I mean, I can think of uh, I can think of Schumacher, and I can think of Fisichella, and y you know, we could be here. Uh, Vine, yeah, we could be here rattling off for ages. But whatever the case, uh, we are. Brentson. Frenson, there you go. We're now moving on to the uh, the final category, which is Jacks, and uh, this is circuits. So, Jack, <clears throat> since yes. I made that slight mistake in uh, in my calculations, um, you will need uh, two points to uh, to win this, uh, because if you score one and you end up score, uh, with the same number of points, I'll go to a tiebreaker because that's not fair. Uh, but whatever the case, if you score two points, you will be uh, determined the uh, the winner. So. Right. The, uh, the options for circuits are Valencia, Yas Marina, Aintree, Bremgarten, Fuji, Hockenheim, Nürburgring, Nivelle, Riverside, and Okayama. So, first of all, we are looking for tracks with lengths over 4.5 kilometers, and we are using the latest version of the circuits. So, for, cir for circuits that have multiple... Uh, uh, multiple uh, varieties. We are using the uh, the latest version. We're looking for tracks with lengths over 4.5 kilometers. Do you think that's the majority or the minority? I think that is the majority. And indeed, it is because the only two that we have to uh, to cross out here are uh, Nivelles and Okayama. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, where's my pen? There it is. All right. <laughs> Nivelle and Okayama are gone. Yes, and they were both 3.7 kilometers uh, kilometers long. So not very long circuits. The rest of them were over 4.5 kilometers. And right. one is now a housing complex. Very true. Yes, <laughs> being Valencia, of course. Uh, um, no. Um, have I got that wrong? Riverside. 
Riverside. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope that's not the. I hope that's not the next question where you ask. All right, which one of these has been turned into a housing <laughs> complex? Uh, no, it wasn't. In fact, uh, the next uh, category is uh, Grand Prix held since the millennium. So, do you think the majority of these uh, these circuits have held a Grand Prix since the year two thousand, or the uh, the minority? Are we keeping them or leaving them? I think the majority have had a Grand Prix in this millennium, so in the 2000s. Okay, so we need, uh, if you're keeping the uh, the circuits that have held them since the uh, millennium, uh, we need to remove Aintree, which of course last held a Grand Prix in 1961. Yep. Uh, we need to remove Bremgarten, which last held a Grand Prix in 1954. Yeah, and then the rest of them are still there. And, and uh, Riverside. And Riverside, which uh, last oh, held yes. a Grand Prix in 1960. Oh yeah, there we go. And closed in 1988. Unfortunately so. The year I was born. So, you are going to come away with either four points, which will give you the win, or one point, which will bring it to a tiebreaker, okay? So, okay. we are looking. I'm actually uh, quite nervous now. We are looking for circuits that have held five or more Grands Prix. So, are we keeping or 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 dumping the circuits with five or more Grands Prix? We are. We are keeping the circuits that have held five or more Grand Prix. And that is the victory, because the only circuit there... Oh, yes! Well done! Because the only circuit oh, there yes. that has not held more than five Grand Prix is Fuji, which only held four. Yes! I've won a thing! Jack has won a thing! Yay! Oh, yes! Congratulations! Excellent. Jolly good! I didn't even think I was going to win that. Oh, yes! You actually scored Excellent. maximum points on that. Yeah, you scored maximum points throughout the uh, the entire thing. Unbeaten. Well done, Jack. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, my goodness, Jack. You uh, you know your drivers and your circuits. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to uh, Jack McKenzie. Uh, commiserations to, uh, to Chris Whitfield. Do you have anything else to say? I have a smile from ear to ear right now. As you should I be, had Jack. I a lot of fun. Ah, That's brilliant. good. That I'm looking forward to next episode, actually. I, I don't know which of you two is going, to, uh, is going to host it. We'll figure that out between episodes. But uh, whatever the case, it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be another very enjoyable one. And I'm looking forward to being a contestant as well. I, uh, I'm looking forward to taking you guys on and, uh, and seeing how I do against you. So thanks, um, thanks very much for playing. And uh, we will see you all in the, uh, the next episode. Uh, that's been it from uh, Game Show Grand Prix. And uh, goodbye for now. Goodbye.